Tonight, you tell your own story. Here at the North Pole, we specialize in tours that allow you to choose your own adventure. So, hop aboard the train, and let's go. Is Santa real, Daddy? Some of the kids at school were saying he wasn't. Yeah, no, he exists. I'm as shocked about it as you are. Actually, it's a tad bit silly. And kind of horrifying, if you think about it. <laughs> it is? Oh, but you're going to love it. We'll go on Santa's lap and take pictures, show them to Mommy, and and, and you'll, you'll really enjoy it. I want to meet Santa. Yeah, hanging out with Santa Claus is much better than playing Sudoku with Dad all Christmas night, right? <laughs> All aboard to Santa's palace. Oh, but the train's here. We, we, we better go. Come on, Emily. Hurry up. Oh, there you are. You're just in time. The tour's about to begin, and you're not going to want to miss this. Beatnik got us premium tickets. Hey, where is he anyways? I thought he was going to meet us. He said he had some work to do. Although, he was acting strange. Welcome to North Pole Tours. I am to be your guide tonight. My name is Renard. So, what will your adventure be? We can go to the toy store, see all the fun things there. We can visit the stables, meet Santa's reindeer. There's the monitoring station, that's where the old man decides who's naughty or nice. Or you can see the elves and hear all about our people's origins. So, what'll it be? Well, we, we should vote on it, right? I think we should go to the uh, toy store. Uh, I guess I'd like to go to the stables. I'd vote the Moderning Station. Emily, dear, what is your choice? Elves? Ah, we've reached a stalemate. Hmm. Say, I, I have an idea. Why don't we let our YouTube audience decide what we should choose? And you know what? They shouldn't feel limited to Renault's choices. Write what you think we should do in the comments section. It's the North Pole, anything's possible, so maybe we'll be able to do it. Use your imagination. Where do you think the story should go? Why do I get the feeling you all plan this? Ugh, I guess we're going to be doing this until after January. Well, this ought to be interesting. And remember, the adventure begins with you. Choose your first steps wisely. I can't go home right now. I'm with my friends on my Santa adventure. Well, you know what it is, Ava. You just don't want me to have any fun. That, that's your problem. All right, fine. Bye. Grumble. 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 Uh, are you all right? I do not like being married. Can't even go on my Santa Claus adventure. Well, while you were talking with your wife, we got some comments from YouTube and Facebook. So, on YouTube, a Browning has commented, I vote you go to the elves, and he put an emoji of an alien. I guess he's saying he's an alien. And on Facebook, Sharon Saling has commented, I think you should interview Miss Claus, because behind the big fat man is a very strong-willed, organized woman. I dated her, that is true. According to the map, the elves are further away, so we should visit Miss Claus first. Well, of course we can, but I must warn you that she's grown bitter since her divorce from Santa. 
She lives in the Ice Palace now, ruling over the bears of the North Pole. I'm sure none of you will want to go there. Daddy! I want a visitor. Well, Emily really wants to meet Miss Claus. Can't we go? I mean, I suppose. For the girl's sake. Follow me, then. Santa, you're not 10,000 years old anymore. You can't go around pretending to be Funky Santa or Batman Santa or what even is it this year? No, our Santa, beating up the elves in the workshop for information and painting yourself black and white. We have a business to run. <clears throat> My lady, there are four delicious looking human beings here to see you. Oh, and an elf. Yes, yes, send them in. Look, I I I'll talk to you later. A and don't call me doll. Well, the Douglas and Lewis party have arrived. Oh, welcome to my hope home. Mm. I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so angry. I, I can't even talk. What's the matter, Miss Claus? My ex-husband. He watched one noir film, and now he's running around thinking he's Sam Spade. I get so mad at him. And yet... Ah, you still have feelings for him. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if this whole divorce thing was a good idea. What do you all think? Should I give him another chance? Of course you should. If you still have feelings for him, then you need to explore that. See if he doesn't feel the same way. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but I'm gonna have to agree with Gorman on this one. I feel like there's still something going on there. Uh, actually, I I'm gonna have to disagree. You seem happy after your divorce. You got an ice palace, an army of bears to do your bidding. Why get married? He's having some problems with his own wife. Yeah, don't pay any attention to him. Okay, fine. I mean, technically I'm the only one that's actually been married here, but whatever. Hey, that is oversimplifying things. There were many extenuating circumstances to that. Maybe we should change the subject. Look at me unloading all of my problems on you. Emily, dear, I have a gift. It's... Oh, right here. Look, it plays music. I, ho I hope you enjoy it. Emily, what do you say? Thank you, Miss Claus. You're welcome, my dear. And on that note, we better go. We don't want to miss the elves. Thanks, Miss Claus. H hope everything works out. Yes, yes, much more to see here at the North Pole. File along, file along. And in case you're wondering why there's grizzly bears instead of polar bears here, there actually are polar bears, but since the background is mostly white, they kind of blend in, and if you see a floating black dot, that's, that's the polar bears. Come on, come on. By the way, Miss Claus, if you're still not interested in Santa, we could date again. No? That's all right. My books are filled with elf girls anyway, so can't, c couldn't do it if I wanted to. <laughs> Welcome to Elf Coven. Our motto is, there is much to see and much to do. Over there is the ice skating rink, there is the magic academy, there is town hall, and way over there is the bowling alley. Hey, isn't that beatnik? Beatnik, what are you doing? I'm in training to be an elf on the shelf. I've been sitting here for 13 hours, 
staring out into space, and soon we'll report back to Santa. Isn't that boring? Far from it! Sitting here so long, traveling into the abyss of nothingness, I have come to understand everything. The rotation of the planets, the movement of the atoms. I have become one with existence. Watch as I move these logs with my mind. Isn't it beautiful? Well, good luck with that. I don't know, it sounded boring to me. And there he is, our town storyteller, Eldar. He's been sitting on that throne since before the universe even began. Ah, so you've come to hear the story of how the elves first came to be. I will tell it to you, my children. There are many different tales through many different ages. This is the one that I choose to believe. In a time which the old gods have forgotten, the great truth ruled over all. An infinite number of multiverses, designed to bring pleasure to its inhabitants, cared over by the lords of order, chaos, and perspective. The balance remained intact for eons. Yet, for reasons unknown, a divide occurred. Sides were chosen, and many would leave the great truth and enter what was known as the infected multiverse. Some, like the fairies, chose the path of light. They wished to aid the creations of the caretakers and came to the world willingly. Others, like the imps, were followers of dark and unmentionable things. They wished to bring suffering and despair to the creations. Then there were the elves, such as myself. We had remained neutral during the Divide, and would have to choose between being light or dark elves. The light elves would have a connection to the great truth, being able to materialize gifts of joy, animate objects, and immortality, while the dark elves had abilities of the imps being able to bring nightmares and spread pestilence. At the end of ages, both sides' deeds will be judged, and they'll be taken to a world of light or darkness. There's one more thing that must be mentioned. The God of Order has agreed not to erase us from existence, on the condition that we do not reveal ourselves to his creations. And so we make our gifts of joy, in secret, hoping that one day, will be reunited once again with the great truth. Huh, that was interesting. Now it's your turn once again to tell the story. What do you think we should do next? Should we go to the toy store, the stables, the moderning station, or a new one's opened up, the enchanted forest? And don't feel limited by what Seth told you to do. Use your imagination. What do you think should happen next? Leave below in the comments and maybe we'll do it. Uh-oh, I think that story scared Emily. Hold on, I'll find her. Emily, there you are. You can't go running off like that. What's wrong? You're, you're not scared, are you? I mean, it, it's okay if you are. All right. Well, we're gonna meet Santa soon. Are, are you excited? Uh-huh. That a girl. Come on. I found her. She was just in the other room. Oh, thank goodness. Well, don't worry, Emily. We're not telling any more scary stories. And on the plus side, Beatnik is here. Although, he hasn't said much. The giraffes will kill us all, Beatnik! Don't trust the giraffes! Oh! Hmm. 
Also, while you were gone, we got some suggestions from YouTube. Corey Lewis comments, Enchanted Forest, and she put five explanation points. She must be serious. Voidless Soul comments, Toy Story. We uh, assume that you mean Toy Store, but just in case, here's a clip from Toy Story. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Hmm, well, the Toy Store is closer, so two of you grab hold of Beatnik and let's go. This is the forbidden area of the Toy Store, where our more experimental works are created. We have all the standards, exploding jacks, a fidget spinner that if you hold over your head and spin will make you fly up in the air like a helicopter. And over here, we have Weasley's Magic Soda Pops. I think you remember this one, don't you, Seth? One drink from one of these, and you will gain the body part of any animal. The trunk of an elephant, the neck of a giraffe, or the head of a dragon. May, may I say something? I, I'm just gonna say it. Does, does soda really count as a toy? Well, they're toys the way we use them. In fact, I'm in the need for some fun. Ah! You see? Now I have a hankering for some carrots. <laughs> Just a little joke of mine. We also have the duplicating rubber duckies around here somewhere, although they've been running wild lately. <laughs> now, this is my personal favorite, the all-around bouncy ball. A mischievous little fellow this one is. Well, Maybe mischief is the wrong word. Wherever it bounces, the most interesting things possible happen. In fact... Hard to believe this thing caused World War II. Now we have what I consider to be the most important. Every elf is gifted a sheet from Santa's list. And all they have to do is say the name of the person. For instance, Harold Douglas. And... The thing that person wants most appears. Harold Douglas wants Sudoku, and Emily Douglas wants Sudoku. Emily, you wanted Sudoku too? Uh-huh. So, now I'm going to let each of you have one of these gifts. Go on, choose among yourselves. Ah, oh, sweet. Far out. <laughs> well, we'll have to play with these later because it is time for us to go. For you at home, we're not taking any more suggestions. We're going to Corey Lewis's place, and that's it. You better prepare yourselves for the enchanted forest as secrets. Things that, well, wish to be forgotten. Ducks. We also have this harmonica. It doesn't do anything, though. It's just a regular harmonica.
so what exactly is supposed to be out here? No one knows for certain. Some say it's a fallen knight. Others a phantom of the forest. A whisper of a time forgotten. Whatever it is, it's best we move on. I'm glad Beatnik is able to walk again, but I wish he'd move a little faster. It's weird, I thought he loved carrots. Well, why don't you take over? Daddy! I'm scared. Relax, there's nothing to be afraid of, Emily. What was that? <laughs> there it was again! Daddy! Don't worry, Emily. It was probably just... a giant magical bunny after our carrot. Oh, it's getting closer! I will kill you! I will kill you and your entire ghost family if you take one more step near my daughter, Harold! Ah! Sorry, I, I wanted to make sure the two of you were all right. Giraffes! Oh! Hey, guys! Uh, where am I? What's going on here? Ooh, a carrot! Mm. Rock, rock, rock. Well, come on, Santa's waiting right down that hill there. Now listen here, Sonny. I don't want to be regular Santa anymore. I'm Noir Santa, see? Well, Mr. Noir Santa, there's a little girl here who wants to meet the real Santa Claus. And she's going to be pretty disappointed if she doesn't. So, can you play the part? Oh, all right. Here we are, everyone. Santa's throne. Oh, this is great. I I've got the camera ready. Go on. Go over to Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Emily. My, you've gotten bigger in the last two years. Why don't you come over here and sit on Santa's lap? You can don't do be it. scared. Go on, Emily. Santa has something here for you in his magic sack. <laughs> Emily, what's wrong? Daddy, I'm scared. I don't like Santa. I don't like the elves. It's just scary here. <laughs> oh. Well, we don't have to come back here again. I told Seth and Gorman that you were too young for this place. Hey, how about we go home and we'll watch some SpongeBob? How about that? Okay. <laughs> I know it was, I know. Oh, I, I better go with Harold and Emily. They have my train ticket. Nice seeing you again, Mr. Claus. You seem depressed. Oh, I don't know, Gorman. Kids all around are beginning to act that way around me. It's like they don't even want me anymore. It's like... The world is beginning to forget about me. You know, Miss Claus was telling me that she still has feelings for you. No, no, she's with the grizzly bears now. She doesn't want some washed out crazy old man. Hm. Well, suit yourself. But if it makes any difference, I'll always remember you. Oh, would you look at that? Spring is coming. Well, aside of the ending there, I had a pretty good time. 
And these gifts we got were pretty cool, weren't they, Emily? Yeah, it's like each of us got a little bit of Christmas to take with us. Even better, I just got off the phone with your wife, and your divorce is almost finalized. Well, that's great. Hey, everybody, think fast! Seth! Hey, it, it bounced into that next booth, that's where the band is! It hit that guy's guitar, and now it fell into that guy's trumpet. Oh, he, he just blew it out. And now it's going across the drums. This is gonna be a long night. May I? Yes, come in. Oh, Mary. Kids today don't need Santa Claus. The world's becoming too smart for me. I'm not practical enough. You're right. The world doesn't want you. But look at what the world's become without you. A sad and miserable place where everyone needs everything done in just the right way. You can provide people with something more than that. You can give them hope. And damn it, I need you. I, I need Santa Claus. Maybe one day the world will realize they really needed you too. My lovely Mary. You always know what to say. So... What next? Hmm.